So as you guys know, Robert Downey Jr. is coming back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe to play Doctor Doom in two upcoming Avengers sequels. I am excited as heck that he's back, and I'm happy to see what he does with the role. But this article is talking about the fact that he's getting paid an astronomical amount of money, and people feel some kind of way about it. Let me just scroll to that. So it says right here that Downey, uh, who just won a Supporting Actor Oscar, and Oppenheimer is set to make more than $100 million to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, the article goes on to say things like, you know, how can that be fair because there was a strike that happened and there are normal people that work behind the scenes that aren't making as much money as him and didn't Marvel just say that they were they were having a problem with getting money and now they're going to pay this dude like $100 million to be in some movies. So, I hear people say stuff like this and I, I, I understand where they're coming from in a sense of like, you know, it seems like the money amount itself isn't fair. But you guys don't really know how like percentages and back ends and things work in the industry. So I, I do entertainment stuff, as you guys know, because I do music and I do other things behind the scenes. And so I just want to kind of like spell this out for you guys. All right. So you got to think about it like this. The Marvel franchise is positioning itself to make billions, billions of dollars off of two movies because they're paying him $100 million to do two movies and most likely a cameo in Fantastic Four at the end, like the little teaser or whatever, right? So you gotta figure $100 million, that's gonna be, that means they're technically paying him $50 million for each movie for one. Now, you might hear that and still say, okay, APT, but that's still like a lot of money, like 50 million per movie. That is a small, small percentage in comparison to the amount of money that they know they're gonna make simply because this dude's in the movie. Like the last Avengers Endgame, where I think he got paid like $80 million for that, it made 2.6 or $5 billion at the, at the box office. So in comparison to that, 80 million at the time was a sneeze and a drop in the hat compared to the amount of money that they made off of that movie. And there they had to pay other people too because they had other actors in the movie. So even if they paid, say, $300 million to make the movie, right? They made $2.5 billion. And so they're paying for the opportunity to make that money again. They have the Russo brothers coming on, which was a guaranteed bet for the last Avengers. They have Robert Downey coming on, which is, I know people are saying things like, you know, oh, how could he come back? He, he went playing Iron Man and playing whatever. Well, the question of what he's going to do as Dr. Doom, and if it's going to connect to Tony at all, is going to cause enough curiosity to make people want to go to the movie to see this worldwide. So they're not paying him $100 million to just make some pennies off the box office. They're paying him $100 million to make two movies that if they do a good job, can make the company $4 billion. This is a smart move by Marvel and it is not a hard payday for them to do because they're suddenly on the back end, they're gonna make so much more than they're even paying Robert Downey. Even if he they pay him 100 million on the front end and then he gets back in also, he might make like two, three hundred million dollars off this movie. That is still a drop in the bucket compared to the four billion plus dollars they're gonna make on top of any kind of merchandise they have coming out with this guy, on top of streaming and uh, DVD sales if they still do those, like they're gonna make so much money off of him being in this movie that it behooves them to pay him what he wants. And this is the thing that people that are in regular day-to-day -day nine to five jobs don't get. You cannot get rich if you're thinking in terms of like exact dollar amounts. You gotta start thinking percentages. A hundred million dollars to Marvel is a very, very small percentage to have to pay him in comparison to the huge percentage amount of money they're going to make off of him. And so once you understand percentages, this is why I don't get mad when like sports stars make like, you know, people got mad back in the day for Michael Jordan making like 200 or 300 million dollars, but the league is making like so many more billions off it. Like, you understand? Know like a hundred million versus a billion. A hundred million is like what, one tenth of a billion? So that's not, that's only 10%. That's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things if you're going by percentages. If you're going by purely numbers, yeah, a hundred million sounds like a lot, but compared to billions of dollars, it's not a lot of money. So I need y'all to stop getting mad at him for asking for what he rightfully deserves and for what he knows he is going to bring to the Marvel Universe and just understand that this is actually a smart play. But hey, that's my thought about it. Let me know your guys' opinion. What do you think about him getting paid this much? You think it's too much? You think it's just right? You think he's deserving of it? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll catch y'all later. Peace. Booty. I don't wear no sweaters. Keep my neck and my head bundled up together. Thanks to my hoodie. About to hop in my ride. Top down, cool breeze, but I'm warm inside because of my hoodie. Watching Dodgers run by. See how hot cutie is. She be catching my eye wearing that hoodie.